to use two numbers to denote a normal blood pressure. In a church sanctuary is not where Dr. Pari Dominic normally practices. His hope is the congregation at Paradise Baptist Church will practice what he's preaching. This is the first community outreach of University Health's new Congregational Health Initiative. With the help of LSU Health Shreveport School of Medicine, it will bring medical experts to churches to address health concerns and hopefully get church members on a healthy track. If we can prevent a, a condition from happening, we've saved a lot of money. We've saved a lot of lives and we've saved generations to come. So it's important to focus on that wellness model. Earlier this year, the hospital surveyed members at dozens of area churches to learn more about their congregation's health concerns. The results showed similar concerns, including cancer and heart disease. In Louisiana, more people die from heart disease than any other illness. A majority of them are African Americans. I have a heart disease too. Doris Wallace has been a member of Paradise Baptist Church for the last 30 years. Heart disease runs in her family. She believes her church family will help each other steer clear of unhealthy foods that could lead to heart problems. We are often after each other around here about nibbling and snacking and whatever, so we just watch what we snack and nibble on. Dr. Dominic hopes the family atmosphere resonates with this group. He says money and the fear of the unknown often stop people from getting medical treatment. When physicians tell you, uh, oh, your blood pressure is high, you need to take your medications, you may not understand the impact of it. But when your friend tells you, like a barber tells you, you probably hear it much better. Pastor Robert Hudson believes with this information, his congregation will be able to make better health and lifestyle decisions that will hopefully keep them out of the hospital. Well, this is the first time we, we, we've had an institution to come in and say, we want to help you take care of yourself so you don't have to use our services later. So no, that's fairly unique. Bringing spiritual and physical healing together to make our community a healthier place. For the University Health News Network, I'm Ed Walsh.